Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T-Man bringing you another video today and yet we have another case review for the iPhone XS Max and today I have the Pelican Voyager. Now a huge shout out for Pelican for reaching out to me. I've been seeing Pelican products for a very long time. Have used some of their product in the past so they reached out to me wanted to drop me a case to review for the iPhone XS Max and of course we already on it. And shout out to them man, they did send a nice little Pelican hat and they did send a USB flash drive. And it's funny because I got this because I literally was looking for mine yesterday and could not find it. And I need a flash drive. So huge shout out to Pelican for dropping these. It's always cool when companies drop extra little gifts when they send you a product to review. So cool on Pelican's side, man. So putting that to the side, let's take a look at the Voyager series. Now, you already see here that this is your heavy duty protection case. Military grade drop protection. It does come with the screen protector, which is also probably built in onto the case holster and you get a lifetime guarantee flipping over on the back it just lets you know some of those details as well very nice packaging from pelican very nice branding man so popping this open it basically four layers of protection you get the holster the back phone screen protector and then the front of the case so let's go ahead and slide this bad boy out so you present it with the case when you slide it out let's go ahead and pop this off once again very nice packaging from Pelican so let's pop this off you see here you do get that holster Pelican branded there so let's pop this off and this is a 360 degree swivel so if you old school you live that construction life you could pop this bad boy on throw it up on your holster like back in the day man I know a few people still rock out with their cases like that so here is the Voyager series case you do get that clear back and this is a two-part case so I need to go ahead and take this bad boy all apart to see how it actually fits now once again you know i don't read any directions man so we're kind of just going into this with an open head now i'm not sure i could be doing this completely wrong but there we go bow so we pop this off here you get some instructions on how to basically install it you know we're not reading any instructions man we're going straight by what we know now this does come with a you know a flimsy tile screen protector if you want to pop this bad boy on to protect your phone but this is a plastic screen protector i already have a tempered glass up here so we're basically going to set this to the side man we're not going to install this because i know most people these days like to run tempered glass screen protectors so i'm gonna leave my screen protector on we're just gonna put this to the side you know keep this for days in case we really run into a tight situation so let's set that to the side two-part case here as you can see on this top side you know you have that volume up you have your volume up and down you do get a little port cover right here for your mute toggle switch and then also you do get that raised power button there so let's go ahead and pop the iphone into this case just gonna go back here and then let's just go ahead and pop it on go all the way around boom boom all right cool everything is snapped on everything is actually perfect with this case man so here it is pelican voyager series heavy duty case man this bad boy is made for it all if you live in that construction life if you live that extreme x games as i call it man if you're out there in the conditions this is a case that you might need to check out man but let's go ahead and take a look at the case right side power button nice and tactile no issues whatsoever flipping it over on the bottom you do have ports that are covering everything you flip this port out you get your lightning cable there and here is actually ports to where it redirects the sound to come straight at you now i do like cases like this because some of these cases tend to muffle the sound but in their terms they have actually two vents as you see they are pointing straight up so the sound is redirected straight to you man volume up Volume down buttons, very nice and tactile, no issue whatsoever. And that mute toggle switch basically has that little flap that folds down so you can get to that mute toggle switch there as well. So that's not actually bad. Flipping over on the back, you do have that huge cutout for your camera. And of course, it is protected. So when you lay it down, you are good to go, man. Now, this case is feeling pretty good in your hands. Taking a look at the lay on the tail protection, you already know. Look at that deep groove for your lay on the table protection. So you definitely, definitely good if you were to slam this bad boy around and do any of that. And let's take a look at it to see if there's actually a 
an amount of drop protection. I'm not really seeing an actual number amount, but I know this bad boy looks like it can take a pretty good drop. And of course, I'm running a tempered glass screen protector up here. So this is a max boost tempered glass screen protector. If you haven't seen that video on that, I will link that above. But I know a lot of people will like this screen protector. But as you can see, it does leave a fine groove going all the way around it, but it does not interfere with the screen protector at all. So Tempered glass screen protectors, you are pretty good. I know people are going to ask, how does edge to edge screen protectors work? I'm not sure. I don't really tend to run those. But if you do get your standard tempered glass, man, you should be good to go with this case. How does it fit on the actual phone, man? And the fit, once this bad boy is snapped up here, there isn't any creaking going on or anything of that sort. It is in here. It's not coming out, not moving around in the case or any of that, man. It actually feels very good, feels very solid in your hand. And it also feels like this bad boy, like I said, it can take a drop. And there will be no issues whatsoever if this was to take a drop. Now on the back, you see you do get that clear so you can show off the color of that iPhone. Now is this scratch resistant? Who knows? Things like that, only time will tell if this will start scratching. But overall, this material around here is like a plastic material. And on this little line right here, it has kind of like a rubber feeling. So the grip is pretty good. Does add a little bit of bulk to your device. And let's go ahead and bring this wireless charger in. Dropping it on wireless charger, even with the bulk, it does work with wireless charging. Now, if you're one of those people who need to rock that holster life, then of course you can just... Boom, pop it in the holster. This is a very nice holster. It does not take any effort to really remove it. Pretty good overall. 360 degrees with that Pelican branding up here. So you can put it in that way or you can put it in, uh, let's see, yep, you can put it in both ways, man. And I'm not sure if this actually, boom, yep, it does. So this does work as a stand. So if you're using this case and you want to use this bad boy as a stand on your desk, Use it in portrait mode or you can pop it down, man, and use it in landscape mode, however you choose. And then you basically just, let me see if I can release it. Boom, you release the strap and there you go, man. So this is the Pelican Voyager for the iPhone XS Max. Now I will leave the link in the description with the current pricing of this case, man. But as always, make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up, comment, and definitely hit that subscribe button, man, for more accessories for the iPhone XS Max. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later.